Okay, I like to talk about a, a form of varicose vein that causes leg pain and it's not routinely checked uh, by uh, many sonographers and by vascular surgeons. It is not well explained in any textbook of any paper and uh, but it's rather common you know and it uh, it is near the short saphenous vein and the problem is when people look at short saphenous it's normal they don't look to, at this particular location and uh, so let me show you this uh, young lady has had three pregnancy and she has pain a little bulgy vein and pain along the lateral and posterior right calf uh, uh, with standing and the pain is relieved when she lays down so we're going to check with ultrasound see what we find. Okay, and first let's check the short staff in the vein. And uh, the short staff in the vein on top, that's the is normal. There is a little accessory zigzag vein that goes along the shorts, the parallel to shorts, but that's not the short staff in the vein. The short staff in the vein itself is that vein and that is normal the blue vein let me fixate on that one and so in her case these are the gastroc veins and this is the short saphenous vein that is normal there's a little zigzag vein in her case that's another you know uh, a strange or or rare type of varicose vein that is going uh, along that and we will address that later now uh, let's look at what the real problem is now again back here manos turn on the light please and okay now if you see this so the short saphenous vein was not bad there was a little accessory perforator vein uh, going parallel to short that was the problem now as we go a little to the lateral aspect of this vein you know let me show you here okay so that was the short saphenous vein there on top and now if we go a little lateral, I'm going along the same just popliteal area to the lateral aspect getting here. You see this zigzag large perforator vein and that extends its root to the very lower part of the thigh. So it's posterior lateral thigh and knee area is just in that border. And it, as you can see, it has a very severe reflux and this is really a uh, press just a second now okay press D now <coughs> see this has a very severe reflux yeah. as you can see this vein has very severe reflux and it, this is the reason now the problem is when the best treatment is uh, ultrasound guided sclerotherapy in this vein but the problem is right here deep there there is the nerve that innervates the, the sensory nerve that innervates posterior lateral calf is coming right by that vein. And if the injection is not very accurately is done and there's a little extravasation or there is a, just a mechanical needle injury to that nerve, patients can have temporary or permanent numbness along this side. So be very careful when you work on this vein. And uh, what I would do for this treatment uh, to treat this vein. First, of course, I want to fix this vein. I will mark where the vein is entering, uh, is diving toward the deep vein. I will put a mark there. And then a little couple of inches below, I'll do injection at this level. And then I will compress with the probe at that level. Here is, uh, here is where our vein is. So I compress it, but before it gets into the popliteal or lower part of the superficial femoral vein and uh, the results have been excellent and this vein that is not described uh, turn on the light that's uh, not described in uh, textbooks uh, for varicose veins or the anatomy books i mean in my office for years we're calling it the fatahi vein thank you